this CF6 Maintenance its minute, we're going to look specifically at the ADE1 model and even more specifically the uh, uh, complying with service bulletin 75-0037. That service bulletin has us periodically uh, re-lubricate the rod ends of the variable stator vane actuators on either side of the engine. Not terribly difficult, but we have discovered some best practices to, uh, to ensure a more thorough lubrication of the ball within the rod end, and that's what we're going to look at today. Okay, and here we are looking at one of the uh, VSV actuator rod ends. What we're really concerned with is the spherical bearing here in the rod end, uh, attaching it to the, uh, the master lever arm of the VSV system. So when we first approach the actuator, first thing we want to do is inspect that spherical bearing for evidence of corrosion, typically uh, uh, pitting on the surface of the spherical bearing itself. Uh, the aft side you can see pretty readily, and for the forward side, you may want to use an inspection mirror and a flashlight perhaps uh, to, uh, to inspect both sides of that bearing. And actually, the way, the way I'm turning this, uh, this rod in here, there is a hex uh, where the, uh, the piston rod meets the rod end itself, and then there's a jam nut with some, uh, some safety cable. So we're just grabbing the hex of that rod end uh, with a wrench, and uh, it gives you uh, the ability to rotate this thing, which we're going to do here more in a moment. When the engine is shut down, normally when you approach the engine, uh, the VSVs will be in their closed position, which means there'll be very little chrome of the rod of the actuator, the piston of the actuator exposed. When the VSVs are open, perhaps the engine had been uh, bore scope inspected, something like that, someone opened the VSVs and left them there, that's when you see all the chrome. And the rod end is, a, you could do it either way, but I find uh, uh, with the, the, the actuators fully extended, it's a little more difficult to gain the access that you want. Uh, right now, I have the actuator set in kind of like a mid position. If they're all the way retracted, uh, you have good access to the bearing and all, but it's a little more difficult to get your wrench on that hex on the piston rod there. So what we're going to do, we've inspected that rod end, and now we're just going to put a little bit of the specified lubricant on it. The red application straw, the tip extender, is really good for this. In fact, it's, it's, it's very important. You try to lubricate this thing with just the can nozzle from two feet away, it really makes a mess, worse than that even. That lubricant goes everywhere, except for where you want it. And with the lubricant on there, I'm gonna use my wrench and use that rod end to really work it all over that spherical bearing. We'll come in from the other side with our application straw, same thing. Hit the other side of the bearing and then really work it in. You can see it makes a bit of a mess and we'll certainly wipe off that excess uh, when we're done. If you feel like you didn't get a good even application of the lubricant on that spherical bearing, feel free to hit it a second time. Now I'm just going to get that excess lube off the master lever arm as much as I can, off the rest of the rod end. It's really not going to hurt anything. I just like to see a clean engine, so I'm going to get that excess lube off of there. Okay, and that's it for lubrication of the CO680E1 uh, variable stator vane actuator rod ends.